Hi everyone. Now in the previous video we have discussed log variable uh, solution and log variable is a busy waiting solution in synchronization mechanism technique. Now there is one problem with the log uh, variable it does not provide the primary requirement of synchronization mechanism solution. What is the primary requirement? Mutual exclusion and progress. So log variable itself fail at the first hurdle of a synchronization mechanism technique which is mutual exclusion so to provide mutual exclusion and progress uh, we have to improve some codes of log variable uh, so that it will uh, provide the mutual exclusion so for that purpose we have introduced a new synchronization solution or busy waiting solution called test set log so test set log is a busy waiting solution or it is a synchronization mechanism technique which are used to remove the drawback of a log variable okay so here what we are doing we are using a special uh, assembly instruction called test set log so tsl represent a special assembly instruction provided by the hardware or machine of particular computer and it is an atomic operation of the two different operations of log variables so the two different variable uh, two different operations of log variable are combined together and we make it as a one atomic operation so what are the two uh, variable uh, operations in the, uh, log variable the two operations are first one is first one is the uh, move yes move log value to r naught and the second one is set uh, set uh, one to log so these are the two uh, operations which are available in log variable okay so we are combining these two operations and make it as a single or atomic operations okay and here i have write load instead of move move so you can write either load or move it doesn't matter basically it will move the value of log to where a register r naught and here i will write i will uh, i was writing as a store okay so these two operations are combined into single operation and based on this single operations we got many advantages in test set log uh, solution so let, uh, assume that we have two process process p1 and process p2 process p1 tries to process p1 and process p2 both wanted to enter the critical section and use the shared resources so process p1 get a chance and it execute line number one okay so based on this line number one what it will do it will first move the value of reg uh, log into register r naught and r naught contains zero initially log variable contain value zero which means uh, any process can enter the critical section and after that again at the same uh, time it will store the value of one to the variable log so it will store the value one here okay and if any other process tries to enter the critical section then uh, at the starting its point itself it will see the value one and it will not enter the critical section so based on this uh, atomic operation only one process can enter the critical section okay so the primary requirement which is mutual mutual exclusion is definitely provided by this test set log operation okay based on this atomic operation and then after let's say process p2 wants to try to enter the critical section so process p1 run step number one and it will see value one and then it will compare the value uh, r naught to zero so it will run uh, line number second and it will run line number th third jump to not zero if to step one if the value of uh, log variable is not zero then go to step number one so again it will go to the step number one and it will repeat the process and it will fall in infinite loop it will fall in infinite loop so 
here only one process can get a chance to enter the critical section and that process is process v1 because it uh, execute the line number one first so, so it will get a chance first okay so process v1 get a chance and it will execute line number two line number three and enter the critical section and execute line number four and then leave the critical section and then after process p2 can enter the critical section got it so mutual exclusion is definitely provided by the solution now this next thing is it is in finite loop now the next thing is the secondary requirement secondary require uh, sorry the second primary requirement which is progress so can this solution provide uh, progress uh, to the different processes yes this solution uh, pro will provide the progress as well why progress says that whenever a process is not interested to uh, in to enter into critical section then it then it will uh, not affect other process to enter into critical section okay and uh, if let's say process p1 wants to enter the critical section then only it can enter the critical section okay and it will not affect the other processes if p1 is not interested then p2 will freely to enter the critical section p, uh, p, no other process will affect the p2 to enter the critical section so definitely pro progress is also guaranteed by this test set law uh, solution pg waiting solution now let's talk about the secondary requirement secondary requirement is one is bounded waiting and other is uh, architectural neutrality or portability so definitely you can see that this test set lock is a special instruction provided by the hardware provided by the hardware or platform so architectural or neutrality or portability is not get, uh, provide, uh, provided by this solution and what about bounded waiting bounded waiting is also not provided by this solution why because sometimes process p1 execute the line number first and after that it will preempt by the uh, cpu or operating system then what happen the other process which are uh, uh, waiting for the and waiting for to enter the critical section does not uh, enter the critical section because of this line number first execution and sometimes what happens many processes wait a long time for uh, this uh, hurdle or for to pass this hurdle so whenever some process execute the line number first then only those those process will enter the critical section and no other process will enter the critical section uh, because of this starvation problem is uh, occur here so definitely bounded waiting is not guaranteed due to starvation problem okay so mutual exclusion is guaranteed progress is guaranteed but pro bounded waiting and architectural neutrality is not guaranteed but okay it's fine the main primary uh, requirement is mutual exclusion and progress so we can use this uh, test set law because it provides the primary requirement of uh, synchronization mechanism technique okay and apart from this four uh, primary requirement there is one special problem occurred in this solution which is called priority inversion priority inversion what is priority inversion the priority inversion problem says that let's say we have two processes process p1 and process p2 process p1 execute the line number 1 first so it will have the right to enter the critical section now suppose process p2 comes at the ready state and it will also try to enter the critical section and process p2 is having higher priority process p2 is having higher priority compared to process p1 but the right to enter uh, into critical section is for process p1 and cpu uh, prefers process p2 because of its higher priority so critical uh, due to synchronization mechanism technique process p1 is the right candidate to enter the critical section synchronization mechanism technique and due to the higher priority uh, based cpu wants to wants process p2 to enter the critical section so here is a conflict process p1 does not enter the uh, process p1 does not execute its uh, the remaining task due to 
the unavailability of the CPU and process P2 does not enter the critical section due to the uh, synchronization mechanism technique. So here it is a kind of uh, deadlock. Uh, what I mean to say process P1 is having synchronization uh, mechanism technique which prefer them to enter the critical section. Process P2 is having CPU which prefer them to enter into the critical section and both are waiting for each other to execute the remaining task okay that's why here priority inversion problem is occurred and this special type of problem is also called as spin lock A spin lock okay so test set lock improve uh, is much more better compared to the lock variable solution but it also has some fallacy or drawback uh, so that such that we can uh, use other solution in synchronization mechanism technique and it is also a busy waiting solution so always remember lock variable or test set lock or starting from uh, the synchronization mechanism technique i already told you first i will uh, discuss the synchronization mechanism technique which are based on busy waiting solution and then after completing the busy waiting solution we will talk about without busy waiting solution okay so this is second busy waiting solution now in the next video we will see the next busy waiting solution provided by synchronization mechanism technique.